Why time seems to fly by faster as you get older? Summer break felt like forever, but now a year feels like it's going back like that. What happened? Is it just a feeling or is our brain really processing things differently? And also, is there a way to slow it down? Let's dive into the perception of time. One of the most important reasons why time feels faster as we get older is something called the proportional theory. When you are 5 years old, a year probably felt like it lasted forever, right? Well, that's because at 5, one year is 20% of your entire life. That's a huge chunk. But when you turn 50, a year is only 2% of your entire life. When you're younger, each year is a significant fraction of your total experience. Which means that after 20 years old, life will start to feel like it's going back quickly and also because life changes. When we're kids, everything feels new. New places, new people, new emotions. Think about your childhood for a moment. How many firsts can you remember? Your first day of school, first bike ride, etc. Each of these moments left a strong impression on your memory. Because it was new, there are exciting or even stressful events that required a lot of mental processing. Our brains work harder to absorb and store new events. And the harder it works, the richer the memories are. And the longer time feels because we live those moments fully. But in our 20s, novelty starts to become routine. We stop studying and learning new things, we start working, each day quickly becomes the same boring day, get up, go to work, nothing exciting happens, go back home, relax, repeat. Plus you don't have as much free time and holidays than you used to when you were kids because now you have adult things to do and summer break is no longer a reality. Aww. That's why time feels to accelerate in your 20s, 30s and so on. And there is also something going on in your brain itself. As we age, our brain processes information differently. When we are younger, our brains are fresh and take in tons of sensory information. Sounds, sights, smells, everything around us demands our attention and our brains are actively recording everything we experience. But as we grow older, sensory processing slows down and our brains start to take in fewer details, mainly because we are exposed to less new sensory information and also because our brains already have enough information about our environment to survive. Let's say you move into a new city, you don't know all the different streets, but in a year from now, your brain will drive you to work without having to really think about it. So routines are comfortable for the brain. They give us structure, predictability, and a sense of control that allows the brain to save energy. You don't have to use 100% of your brain to perform routine tasks. But here's the catch. Routine can also make time feel like it's slipping away. When you follow the same pattern every day, you stop noticing all the details around you. Your brain starts to operate on autopilot. And without novelty, the brain doesn't need a copy of the same 50 days in a row. So it will compress these routine periods into a blur. As a result, we experience fewer mental snapshots of life. It's like watching a slow motion video when we are younger. There is so much interesting things happening in those 50 days, but watching a fast forwarded one as we age, it's the same blurred day, copied past it 50 times. Now if routines make time go by faster, emotional moments on the other hand, tend to make time feel slower. Why? Whether they're stressful, exciting or challenging, emotional moments force your brain to focus and fully engage in the moment when you're experiencing those intense emotions. When something out of the ordinary happens, like a job interview or a thrilling adventure, your brain is working overtime to process this new situation. You're somewhat becoming a child again. Suddenly the blur is gone and the brain has new information to process. That's a new mental snapshot added to your life experience. And finally, as we age, the dopamine system in the brain starts to decline. This means we are not as likely to be excited by novelty and our brains don't create as many new memories or emotional responses to events. Time will feel like it's speeding up even more because the brain isn't processing time as densely as it used to. Now you know why time feels faster as we get older. But there is a way to slow down the perception of time. And that's good news. To make time feel slower, we need to break routines and create more memorable experiences. Do new things. Travel, try new hobbies, meet new people. Novelty forces your brain to pay attention, which stretches time. So the more new things you will experience in a year, the slower time will feel. Change your environment. Even small changes like rearranging the furniture or taking a different route to work can help your brain register time more fully. The idea is to break the same old routines you have and bring some novelty and freshness into your life. Be more present. Stop rushing through life. Pay attention to the little moments. Smell your coffee, listen to music without distractions, take deep breath, don't multitask, stop walking that fast. Why are you in a constant rush? Slow down. 
Be in the present moment. Keep a journal. Writing about your days help your brain encode more memories, making time feel richer. And at the end of the year, if you read your journal, you will remember what you did a year ago or five years ago. And spend time in nature. Studies show that being outdoors helps slow down our perception of time by grounding us in the present moment. Whether it's a walk in the forest or at the beach, or if you go hiking on the weekends, your perception of time will have slowed down. Do you have other things in mind to make time feel slower? Drop a comment below, it was Ben, see you soon. Stop scrolling while watching videos, okay? Bye!